Hey, this is Matthew, and I am back for another episode of Chewing the Brew. This is episode number 141. Woohoo! And today, tonight, this evening, this magic hour, I shall be drinking Bad Batch Brewing Company's Red 5 Amber Ale. Someone has a fire going nearby. And so there's a lot of wood smoke in my nose at the moment. But as I opened that can, some delicious bready malts came out. Mmm. And yeah, the juiciness you expect from a nice amber ale. So this is this is um, labeled as an American amber. Ambers, I've gone into this before, but to put it briefly, they are the same family. Ambers, reds, and brown ales are all pretty much the same kind of beer. They are a, a more darkly malted, more darkly roasted malt than a pale ale, hence the color, in this case a decent amber, and they have a generally a higher hop level than, um, than some beers, but not quite so heavily hopped as an IPA or even a pale ale. In fact, nowhere near the level of hops typically that you'd find in an IPA and not quite the level of hops you'd find in a PA. Um, so just expectations setting there. <laughs> there is a struggle for the stick weapons off camera here. This smells very familiar, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, looks wise, the head is creamy and variegated, right? Ver ver variegated, ver ver something. The bubbles are different sizes, um, and it's creamy, and the head's hanging on for quite a while, though it is far shrunk from where it was. Uh, the color is a very nice amber up against my uh, um, pretty white light this evening. The hops are earthy. And yeah, there is a nice bready maltiness to it. Um, yeah, it smells good. It smells inviting. It smells like I'd expect for, of an amber. Oh, and uh, I cannot forget this gift, this beer, is a gift from the gentleman and the scholar, Tim. So, here's to you, Tim. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice amber. Um, what I like about it, the, the roasty malts are, are really clearly roasted. And that's, that's very present in the drink. That's very nice. So you have the breadiness, but then it quickly, there's a, a roasted a depth to that. Um, and a little bit of a char flavor that comes out. Um, and it, it's a really smooth finish, a really smooth path from bread to roast, then to, to earthy hops. And then you're finished. And it transitions really, really smoothly. And it's hard to tell per se when one ends and the next begins. So just fades really nicely from one to the next. That's that's a nicely crafted amber. Hmm. The finish is primarily malts. It's not the the while the hops are kind of there and they they kind of come back. Um, as you're drinking it, the, the flavors in your mouth are mostly the malts, and then the hops are more noticeable, more present in the back of the throat and then down the throat, or the back of the mouth and then down the throat. Mm. Also, like with other ambers I've had, um, there's kind of an apple quality to this. I think that's mostly the, the interaction of the, the really bready malts with uh, with possibly the, the earthy hops. It kind of reads a little bit as a like a, a juicy, like an apple juice. Not as apple juicy as some others. Um, like um, I think Alaskan and uh, Alaskan Red and Reuben's Red Fox, I think are both a bit more of an apple juice character. Um, but it's still there, you can still taste it there. That's nice. And then the 
kind of the, the brush of the, the bitterness of the hops and the finish. Just like with an IPA, that really just drives you to keep drinking because it's it's really pleasant. And and it kind of asks for you to <laughs> to get more of the beer in there to, to have them together again. Hmm. It's a tasty beer. It's a very tasty beer. I think I've done a couple ambers this year. And I think I have a couple more ambers to go. Um, yeah. We're in a bit of a belt tightening phase due to house payments and probably learning to budget a few years later than I ought to have learned. But yeah, better late than never, right? Um, and uh, so um, good friends like Tim and like Evan who have kept me in beer lately, um, I am very grateful to. And I don't want that to be um, to be forgotten or, or let slide by. That's a it's a good gift, and I really appreciate it, gentlemen. I really appreciate your friendship, and I really appreciate your gifts. Um, while you're here, if you could remember, if you watch these videos and you like them, share them with friends. Tell people about them. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, all those things help, uh, especially if you hit the notify, you interact with it in the YouTube feed. That tells YouTube that, hey, you like watching these videos. You might find more interesting people suggested to you. There's a great number of really cool beer tubers out there, brew tubers. Um, probably more beer than brew, because while I drink the brews, I do not brew them myself at this time. I have not yet. Um, I won't say that I never shall, but not today, not yet. Um, there's a great number of the small brew tubers, beer tubers out there, and you know my level, the first couple thousand subscribers, here I am at 116 I think now in this I'm recording this video um, and and so yeah telling YouTube what you like to see means you'll see more of that and it also tells them that people like these videos so they'll show so they will show my stuff to more people like you um, and that helps out too in every little way right every little bit helps anyways this is me padding the runtime as I drink and enjoy Bad, ba Bad Batch Brewing Company's Red 5 Amber Ale. I've been chewing the brew, and I will catch y'all on the flip side.